SD cards. We rely on these little things to carry and hold and store all of our important footage. So what happens if your camera writes to the card and your video file ends up being corrupted? And what happens if you didn't use a secondary card to relay that recording? Is there a software that can save your footage? Now, a couple months ago, I did a video for Wondershare on how to use their data recovery software. It's meant more for those formatted drives or accidentally deleted videos on your memory card. So if you haven't watched that video and you're looking for software that's intended for that cause, check out this video right here and I think that's the software for you. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use their software to restore corrupted files and that could be some files that weren't written correctly on your card or your battery died without completing the recording, their software will be able to detect and restore corrupted videos most of the time. I'm gonna start off by putting in my memory card into my memory card reader. The new MacBooks don't have memory card readers, so if you're looking for some, I'll leave them in the description box below. So Wondershare offers a free online video repair service. All you have to do is go to the website that I'll link in the description box below and then upload your corrupted file. Once it uploads, it will begin repairing. Now the file size is limited to 200 megabytes, anything larger, and you'll have to download the desktop version of this software. So now let's talk about the desktop version. Next, I'm gonna open up Wondershare Repair It. Now I'm just gonna go to my corrupted card and usually video files will show up if they are corrupted on your card. So here's just a demo of how you would be adding files from your SD card to the software. Let's just select a few clips, drag and drop it over to the software. It will start loading up the footage. Here it is, some thumbnails are loaded up. Now all you have to do is click on repair and there you go. Now it's starting to repair the corrupted files. Now these files aren't necessarily corrupted, but if you do have those corrupted files, this is the same exact process that you will be going through. So it looks like the software is done restoring the footage. We're gonna go to save all. And then I'm just gonna save it in my documents. And there you go. It saved it successfully. So just to be clear, there are two different softwares from Wondershare that are meant to restore files. Recover it is meant to restore formatted files and repair it is meant to restore corrupted files. Now, how do files become corrupted? Well, it could be a compression issue or a format issue, or you just accidentally change the extension of that video file. Now, I also wanna go over some tips on how you can prevent file corruption. Step one, always record to as many backups as you can. Most newer cameras now have dual SD card slots, so make sure that you're using both of those slots and recording to two different SD cards simultaneously. This will prevent you from experiencing a lot of stress and just overall discomfort and just anxiety from losing your footage. So it's important to not always rely on software, but to take steps in order to prevent these types of mistakes. So remember, recover it, and repair it are your last case scenarios, but overall the experience of using these softwares is pretty positive and it's very user friendly. So if you take a look at Wondershare's website, you'll notice that they've actually worked with a ton of companies and they've helped restore a lot of files and data. So Sony, Canon, DJI. Now these are big brands that depended on Wondershare to restore their files and overall they use their software and had a positive experience. So here's how Repair It can help restore your videos to their normal setting. So it can help repair videos that somehow didn't record with sound, audio video sync problems, video file corruption, corruption on the video header, slider frame, and we've all seen those weird glitchy videos that have those large compression blocks. This software can definitely help out with that. And this software is available for both Mac and Windows, and I'm using the Mac version. So the pricing is gonna start off with one month at $39.95, $49.95, and a lifetime license of $59.95. So if you're interested in checking out Repair It or Recover It, go ahead and check out the links down below, and I'll see you guys in another video.